Siemanko, tu Karol Garncarz, witamy z Gliwic, jesteśmy już po ważeniu przed galą KSW 65, ze mną Erko Jun, hi Erko. Siemanko, how are you? How are you? I'm good, what about you? I'm good, I'm good, feel good, happy to be here. You speak Polish, maybe some... <laughs> Dobrze, I only know a lot of bad, bad words, um, but... It's the easiest, it's, it's the, the easiest. It's the easiest part, right? But uh, yeah, mo most of it I know, yeah. How are you? What do you do? Because I'm after a, after the fight with Pudin, yeah. you had two fights. Yes. One loss, one victory. Yes. Tell us something about sure. this. Well, after the loss of uh, Pudin, I had a, a fight camp in Croatia. Um, broke my hand there, went to training, but had a fight in EMC. Wanted to be back as poss soon as possible. So I took a fight uh, in EMC and it ended bad. Uh, but actually it's one of the best things that happened in my life on the other side because uh, it made me work harder, it made me uh, change my weight division and it made me also see who's my... who are. There's no more heavyweight division? Well, um, <laughs> there is. Listen, there is if I want to fight Pujan again. Like, uh, like he said, uh, I'm going back to heavyweight, you know. But uh, to be honest, now I'm focusing on uh, light heavyweight. I had a very easy cut for my last fight. I feel good on this and uh, I, feel, I feel very strong. So I'm focused on this division and uh, bringing a lot to the future. Before the interview, we talked that you saw the last Pujan's fight against Bombardier. Yeah. What did you? What do you think about this fight? Yeah, well, quick, quick. Yeah, well, Pujan is an animal. You know, if you get shot, uh, one hit by him, you will sleep. That's uh, that's true. You just have to fight differently with uh, Pujan. But it was impressive, you know, to see a big man fall like that. And uh, of course, Pujan is a legend. But you're not scared. No, I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. After this fight, I also uh, said to him that I would like to share the arena with him again. And a lot of people want to see that fight, you know, because um, it, it, it could end different in a different way, you know. Maciek or Martin talked to you about this fight or not? Well, about the rematch, I, I mean. Uh, not really. I'm here actually for that reason to talk and uh, to see what we're gonna do for uh, give me Pujan <laughs> for upcoming year. Yeah, so we will see. Okay, uh, many fighters, the professional fighters, I think, uh, fight in and freak fight organization, yeah. something like this. I'm yeah. sure you heard about Fame MMA in Poland. Yeah. Uh, do you know some big stars of this organization? Yes, I do. Well, actually, I will tell a real quick sh uh, story, short. Uh, I've been contacted by Fame, actually my manager, uh, Ivan Diakovic, and I had to fight last year on the fa With Fame who? card. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I'm not th that kind of guy that, says, that wants to talk shit and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I got the contract. I had to fight a very famous guy there. Eventually, they give him another opponent. Uh, the fight didn't happen. They promised me another fight um, in November. And, uh, well, we signed the contract. We even signed the contract. It was pure boxing, so not an MMA match. But eventually, it didn't happen. So let's hope this year nobody's scared enough to uh, cancel the fight or change opponent. I would like to go there and show them uh, my boxing skills as well, you know. If you talk about boxing, yeah. I think about Don Casio because he yeah. fight in boxing in Fame MMA. Yes. But could you tell us it was a fighter in your division or just totally freak fight? No, actually it was an open division. I told him it doesn't matter who you give me, I, I, I would like to box, you know. I would like to fight there and, uh, you know, show the audience what I've got and uh, give the people a show, you know. And Fame MMA does a big show as well. Uh, they have a lot of viewers. Of course, it's more... Uh, different different level and different uh, 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 compared to these fighters, uh, KSW. Um, but yeah, you know, if it's pure boxing, it's not MMA. I am, I can, uh, with my contract, I can still fight this. I can do this fight. This is no problem. So am I right if I say that you have a contract with two organizations, KSW and Fame MMA? Well, I'm still, I'm still with KSW. But uh, with Fame MMA, I, I still don't have any fight, you know. So let's hope uh, we, we have a fight, we uh, have a boxing match, and uh, they just give me whoever they want from the organization, doesn't matter. Big event tomorrow here in Gliwice, yes. yes. uh, Kalidov against Roberto Soldic. Yes. What do you think about this match? I think it's a, it's a match we will remember the rest of our lives. It's a big match that will attract a lot of people, you know. I have respect for uh, Mamed as well, but of course I support 
Roberto because he's my training partner, he's my good friend, and uh, he's actually the reason why I, I uh, started with MMA. Uh, it will be explosive, Mamed is unpredictable, but of course I'm, I'm for Roberto for this fight. Your plan for the Friday night? For tonight? Yeah. Not much, man. Listen, I'm going to tell you honest. I came here with my mouthpiece in my bag, you know. If somebody would drop from the light heavyweight uh, battle just to go in there and uh, show some skills, you know, because I just had a fight two weeks ago. I'm still I'm still in shape. I'm still ready. And But, yeah, they're both, they're both okay for the fight. So I wish them all good luck. And let's hope for some good, uh, good fights tomorrow. Eric Leon, always hungry for the fight. Thank you so much, man. Dziękuję. Dziękuję bardzo.